So the No Hot Pets campaign is something that we like to really talk about a lot. Every spring and summer, we remind people that they shouldn't leave pets in a hot car. Dogs in particular don't have the ability to perspire like we can. So even a change in temperature of like two degrees in a really quick amount of time can cause a dog serious damage. So we like to remind people, don't leave your pet in a hot car. If you see a pet in distress, you should definitely call the Ontario SPCA. The number to call from anywhere in the province is 310-SPCA. That's 310-7722. And you'll be able to report that at our 24-hour hotline seven days a week. Here are 13 quick heat safety tips for dogs. Always carry water and make it available to your dog. Adding ice cubes can make it even cooler and more refreshing. Never leave your dog unattended out in the sun and heat. If you put your dog in the yard, make sure there's plenty of shady areas with water and be sure to keep an eye on them. Hot cars can kill. Never leave a dog alone in the car. They can heat up to deadly temperatures surprisingly fast. Short-haired dogs can get sunburned. Keep them in the shade as much as possible and find a dog sunscreen that works for your pet. Daily exercise is important, but don't overexert your dog in the heat. If your dog is panting heavily while out walking or exercising, stop immediately and take a break in the shade or air conditioning. Keep outings and walks scheduled to cooler times of the day, like early morning and late evening. Be sure to be aware of the temperature of the ground, as pavement can get very hot and can actually burn your dog's sensitive paws. Certain breeds can benefit from a short haircut for warmer months, but do not shave or cut any dog's fur without discussing with your vet or groomer first. Cooling collars, vests, or mats can be helpful. As often as possible, keep your dog in a ventilated and air-conditioned cool space. Consider indoor games and activities to keep your dog mentally and physically active on very hot days. Frozen watery treats can also be good for cooling down and hydrating. If your dog begins to show signs of heat stroke, call a vet as soon as possible. Swimming and dog jumping can be fun summer activities to keep cool, but be careful if your dog is already hot and panting heavily, throwing them in cool water can actually make things worse, not better. Watch out for these seven signs of heat stress. Heavy panting, dizziness and fatigue, vomiting or diarrhea, general stress or panic, wheezing or gasping, pale or bright gums, thick viscous saliva, are all signs of potential heat stress or stroke, and you should contact your vet immediately. For more safety, training, and inspiring dog videos, subscribe to our channel or check out our website at www.talenthounds.ca.